Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of centrifugal pump with impeller in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter, create. Now go to 2D sketch and select the XY plane. Go to arc command. From center point, make an arc, give this arc a dimension, the radius of this arc will be 200, okay, the distance from center point will be 25 and the height of this arc will be 100 mm, okay. <coughs> Now finish sketch. Now go to plane and select offset from plane. We will construct a new plane and select the XY plane. Here offset a new plane at distance of 150 mm and ok. Now select the new plane and go to create sketch. Go to R command. Now go to project geometry and we will project this point. Okay. Go to R command. From this point, make new arc. Give the dimensions. The height of this or the first the radius is 100 mm. Then from this point to the bottom. Height will be 100 mm and the distance from center point scale again dimension this point and the center point the distance between this will be 40 mm okay so this is the new arc this is the previous now finish now we have two arc profiles you can hide this, select working plane, right click, turn off the visibility. Now go to loft command, select this arc and select this arc. As this is open profile, so it will make the arc in surface and ok. Now you can see the surface profile. Now go to thicken and offset and here make a thickness of 1.5 mm and select this select this surface ok ok now we will select the exit plane go to create sketch go to circle command from this center point make a circle of dia 60 Ok, change the view, change the view to wireframe, we have selected, ok, we have selected the correct center point, now go to 3D model, go to home, escape, select the extrude command and we will select the asymmetric extrude. We will select it here 105 and the second side will be 5 mm. Ok, change the view, change the view to shade view to the edges. Ok, you can see now 5 mm downside, 105 mm up and ok. Now for impeller, we need number of blades. So for that, go to circular pattern. Select this profile and go to rotation axis. Select feature, thicken feature also. Now go to rotation axis and select this circle. <coughs> now, here it will ask you the number of counts. We want 18 count and OK. OK. 
Now, as you can see, there are multiple surface profiles on all the blades. So, go to circular pattern, right click, and here select the hide all surfaces. So, it will hide all the surface profiles. Here, you can hide this from here. Okay, finish. Select this right click and turn off the visibility okay now what next we have to do okay now we will make the this bottom face so for that go to 2d sketch select the xy plane and go to line command or you can simply go to rectangle command and from here select two point rectangle select this point this shows the center point and make one more rectangle okay now go to dimensions the length of this will be 160 and the bottom 45 this height will be 40 and this height will be 30 ok fully defined sketch now go to 3d model and go to revolve select both the profiles go to axis and select this line as axis of rotation ok this will provide the base and here we will select the join and ok ok now go to 2d sketch and we will select the xy plane go to view from view style change the view to wireframe now go to sketch select the rectangle command and take two point rectangle from here make a rectangle dimension 160 mm and the height will be of 20 mm go to vertical constraint from this center point make this vertical constraint escape go to dimensions from base the top will be at a distance of 140 mm ok now go to rectangle command once again and again select two point rectangle from this end point till this base make a new rectangle go to dimensions select the thickness of 5 mm ok now go to circle command and we will make a random circle of dia 50 and one more circle here ok now go to line command here make a taper line ok and escape now go to tangent constraint select this circle select this top line ok similarly select this circle and select this line at distance 5 mm ok this is constraint escape now drag this circle to center point of this line so the center point is here here you can see the point has changed to green ok now go to tangent constraint once again <coughs> select this circle and select this circle ok <coughs> now go to dimensions give this an angle of 
60 degree okay and go to tangent and strain select this line and select this circle now go to line command and make one more line passing here skip go to tangent constraint select this circle and select this line similarly select this circle and select this line now this hole is fully constrained escape now we want a selective profile other profiles you will trim so go to trim command trim this profile from here from this hole this profile and this whole circle we don't want now from this uh, this edge also trim this circle only this portion will be required for radius in this line in this line okay escape select this 5mm line and make it construction geometry now go to dimension select this point from here the dimension will be 55 mm ok now this is the final sketch so go to finish sketch and go to revolve command select this profile and select this profile I will show you which profile which we have selected. We have selected this whole profile and from here go to cut and go to axis and the axis will be here. You can see the y axis so we will select the y axis. Full cut will be there and ok. Now change the view change it back to shaded with edges go to front you can see here the taper cut go to home so this is the cut profile in impeller now we will move forward so select the top face and go to create sketch here we will make a through cut so go to circle command select the center point and make a circle of dia 40 finish sketch go to 3d model select export drag it downwards so it will cut the profile and we will want a through cut so drag it outside this whole impeller and ok select the top view we can see the through cut ok now we will make the outer casing so go to sketch select the xy plane and go to 2d sketch now go to line command change the view from visual style go back to airframe from this center point make a line here over here and here we are ma just making the rough profile ok skip now go back to sketch here go to dimensions the distance from this to center line will be 130 ok the height of this is 45 mm the height from bottom is 50 mm and the height from this top is 50 ok now the angle here is 120 ok and go to circle command make a circle over here tangent 
go to tangent constraint tangent to this line and tangent to this line okay go to dimensions from here to the center point this is 150 m okay escape now select this line and make it a construction geometry and go to trim trim this profile trim this profile trim in the side so this is the final profile which we required okay okay do one thing go to rectangle command and select two point rectangle and make one more rectangle over here now go to dimensions this length is 100 and the height is 30 okay now finish sketch and go to 3d model revolve command select this face and select this bottom you have select whole profile this profile okay rotate now here as you can see the by default join is selected we want this as a new part or new solid so select new solid and the axis of rotation will be this so this is a new solid profile which you can see it in green and ok now we will make the pipe profile for that we will construct a new plane go to 3d model go to plane command and select offset from plane and here select xz axis and here we will select uh, an offset of 20 mm and ok go to this plane create sketch from here change the view to shaded with edges or you can remain in wireframe go to sketch select the circle command from this center point make a circle of 345 mm and make a line command passing from this center and one line command till here escape you can this is not constrained so go to coincident select this line and select the center point go to line command once again and make a line here 250 mm and one line okay which we have made it downwards give it a dimension 200 mm okay now select all the profiles go to construction skip this select all the profiles and make it construction geometry these all are construction geometries or the reference profiles now go to arc from this point or from this circle to this point make one arc and make one more arc from this point and this point ok go to dimension here give the dimension as 200 skip and go to tangent constraint select this arc and select this circle now this is constrained and this is also constrained now escape ok we will mm, ok it is ok now this line which we have made go to trim command and trim this upper profile from center ok now till here we want it like this and finish 
or do one thing go to sketch go to line and make a line of 250 mm scale okay now from here okay one thing delete this go to dimension from this point to center point it will be 250 okay now it is perfect now finish sketch we want this profile for the path of the of pipe now we will go to 2d sketch once again and here we will select xy plane rotate the view we want this point as a reference so go to project geometry and select this point point you can select or arc you can select you can select this arc profile okay this will give you the point front plane now make a circle over here make a circle of dia 80 scale you can just match the outer circle profile this profile you can match it should be almost equal to this and give the dimension from this point select this and select here then 10 mm go to line make a reference line over here select this line construction and dimension from this line will be 22.5 okay now finish sketch and go to sweep command we want to sweep this profile and the path to sweep is this now here one more thing is activated it will ask you to which solid you want to join this so select solid and go to view shaded area you will select this upper solid which you have made a new solid okay and okay now this is the important comma here otherwise it will not the model will not get complete <clears throat> now go to 3d model and go to shell take a shell thickness of 5 mm select this end and select this top and okay here you can see the inner profiles now the impeller now select this top face go to create sketch go to project geometry select both the circles finish sketch and go to extrude command extrude it at a distance of 40 mm select these profiles and okay now select this face once again go to create sketch go to circle command from this center point we will make a circle of dia 270 and one more circle of dia 235 okay and go to home go to project geometry and project this two circles also and finish sketch or do one thing again go to sketch select this circle and make it a construction geometry this is the pcd the circle on which the holes will be made with circle dia the full form of pcd take the circle command and here make a circle of dia 15 scale go to vertical constraint select center point and select this point 
go to circular pattern select the circle and the axis will be this this select axis as this six will be the count and okay now finish sketch and go to extrude select this profile take a dimension of 10 mm and flip the direction this is the flange and okay now go to top view here you can see the pipe profile is taper so we will cut profile here go to 2d sketch and select the exit plane go to two point rectangle and make a rough profile over here now go to dimensions this profile from center point to 20 mm and this will be at a distance of 100 and this at 70 mm ok escape drag this inside this whole profile should be inside the rectangle you can give one more dimension from here as yes, 175 ok now finish sketch go to extrude command change the view as you can see here we want to cut the profile this will be the solid you want to cut now go to symmetric cut and drag this outward ok and ok now go to top view you can see this profile is plain go to home and select this face now here also we will make the flange profile go to create sketch go to circle command make a circle over here of dia 140 <coughs> and one more circle of dia 150 go to dimensions from center this circle from center will be at a distance 227.544 so it should match this circle profile and the vertical distance will be 10 mm ok <clears throat> skip select this circle and make it construction geometry go to circle command and here make a circle of dia 12.5 go to vertical constraint select this point and select the center point go to circular pattern select the circle axis select this axis count of 6 and ok here go to project geometry and select this line finish sketch go to extrude command here take an extrude of 10 mm and flip the direction join and ok now hide this plane right click and switch off the visibility from here give it a color you can give it chrome polished so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a centrifugal pump with impeller in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.